Hello YouTube, we're going to uh, a big wreck here on the 405 and Ventura. It's about midnight, Sunday morning, and uh, we're going wrong way on the freeway just to access this since uh, uh, the whole freeway is shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 97 this call right now. It's a big uh, tanker truck that caught fire. It's a big hazmat spill, so I'm gonna park right behind Caltrans right here. See what's up. Fire, everybody. Everybody's here. All right, let's get down. Yeah, just keep coming down. Just keep coming. You're gonna see my truck right there with the lights. Just park right behind me. No, we'll turn, uh, if you want, if you want, turn around and then back up right there. Yeah, turn around before they open up the HOV lane. So that way you could, you could make, you could take a wide. Okay. All right, bye. Hello, YouTube. We have a very, uh, a very active scene right now. It's uh, midnight on a Sunday morning here on the 405 of Ventura. And we have this uh, tanker truck that burned. Again, this is not our area. This is CHP West Valley. And uh, we are tasked to uh, to haul this away. Oh, yeah, this is burnt. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and lift this and uh, place it on our Orlando. We actually had to come in the wrong way on the freeway. So we have this and we have a record and route for this, uh, for this rear portion. Uh, right now we're in, uh, on standby right now to see if they're gonna pump uh, the contents on this truck. I believe not. I believe the only thing that burned and spilled all that diesel was the ones from the actual ta tank on the truck. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and see. But like I said, a very active scene. We got hazmat. We got ocean blue over here. We got the fire department. We got Caltrans. CHP has the whole freeway blocked off. Uh, for a good minute, they actually had both sides of the freeway blocked off, northbound and, uh, and southbound. But we'll see right now. Not to come all the way. Not to come all the way right now. Traffic's coming through right now. Oh, okay. Call them immediately. And I can't see you walking out here. You gotta get over here. Okay. Yeah, you can stand by. We're only letting a group of cars go. And then uh, we'll be able to let them through. Okay. But right now we can't come. Hey, are you ready on the on ramp or not? Oh. Okay, just stay right there, stand by on the side of the shoulder until they let the other cars pass by, okay? Just stand by. Don't. Oh, he's the one escorting you? Okay, we stand by right there then, because they're gonna let traffic through. Yeah, all the way on the right, on the right hand shoulder. Not on the H, yeah, not the HOV lane. Yeah, get out of the HOV lane. That's the one that's gonna stay open right now. Yeah, he's off to the right hand shoulder over there. There's a unit with him. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's the one that escorted him through. And, okay, and then one, so he's already on the freeway? He's on the freeway. He's actually uh, just right past the sign with the unit. On the right shoulder? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so once we get this group through, mm -hmm. if there was everybody that was north of Snurball, they're stuck. So we're just letting them through. We're not letting more traffic through, and then he'll be able to come up here. Okay. okay. Yeah. He has the pump or no? No, no. He, he he's just a landau. We're the transport company, yeah. Yeah, because if, <laughs> if the big tank is not leaking, then we could take it like that. As long as nothing is... Uh, as uh, What I believe is that the one on the tank on the truck already spilled. That's the one that Ocean well, Blue cleaned up. Only the tanks on, on the, the truck. On the truck. Yeah. Not not the big not tank. the big tank. No. Uh -huh. So if that one's still intact, then we could take it as long as it's not leaking. If it is leaking, then we we're gonna have to pump it out. Is that you? That's you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, I know, that's why. Uh, so, do you guys be able to help them out to go this way? Right, as soon as we get... So, all these cars have been stuck in the backup. Yeah. 
and we're just letting that group go. It's closed at Scribble. Right. We can't get past Scribble. All right. Come with that. Yeah, he's going to have to come over here and he can wait. Okay. And then once we get the cars through, then we can have to close. Right. Perfect. Any ETA on the truck yet? He was on the 10 freeway when I last checked him. And he's still sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> So he's waiting for his traffic. Yeah. Hello? Do they want you to offload the fuel? Did you got a flatbed or not? What happened? Yeah, a flatbed? Yeah, I have a Landall. Oh, you do? Yeah. You can put the whole thing on there? I could just put the... I have a wrecker coming from the rear for the rear portion, and my flatbed is supposed to take the burn portion, the Landall. And then me, I'm, I'm the, with the rotator. I'm the one that's going to be picking it up. All right, let's go check it out. Sir, I have a question. Are you requiring the company to offload the fuel here? Yeah. It has to be offloaded? Yeah. It can't be transported on a, on a land all? So the tank is leaking? No, they're going to offload the fuel? No, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Are you guys requiring it? Because normally when they do that is that the fuel's leaking. If it's not, they allow us to transport it that way. The only thing that would not be leaking would be the ones from the tank, from the actual truck, not the actual big tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. That's, a, that's our standard MO, we, uh, we unload with them. Okay, All right, we'll wait for them then. Okay. Did he say how long? He didn't tell me. I think his guy's stuck back there, so it's going to be a couple hours before he gets up here. Okay. We'll be here too. No worries, thank you. Hey boss. Yeah. What, what's the plan? Where's the destination? Like, where's it going? So I, I called the supervisor, his name is Jose. Um, I asked them to stage down there until they basically get rid of all the traffic from Skirball on and then have the offload crew uh, come and offload the tanks from the from the truck. You're from Pepe's? I'm from Pepe's. All right, we work with you guys on a, several of these things over. Yeah. I never heard of them pulling it off with fuel in the tank. Have We've done it before, yeah. Okay. So uh, there's a couple of them that we've done. Uh, actually, the last one that we did was, um, was it wasn't a fuel tank. It was a propane tank that was fully loaded. Yeah, on the 10. On the 10, on, on the, the 10, 110. Yeah. So they let yeah. us do that one fully, fully loaded. Yeah, but that tank is bomb proof. That tank is very strong. Yeah. That tank is 360 of an inch aluminum. It is, yeah. So the thing is, if you start... That was actually steel, the other one. Yeah, that's a, it's exactly what it is. It's yeah. like three, it's like in three eighths of an inch thick steel. Yeah, that's three sixteenths of an inch aluminum. Yeah. So how do you guys? Because you cannot lift that freaking. I can you lift can't it. Lift that up because you'll tear that tank. No, I got I got spreader bars. I've done it like I, that's what this truck is designed for. To lift aluminum tank. I've done it before. Yeah. Because we have never. Because when if if it's on its side, we drill it and sting it. We never move. Yeah. A, we never move a truck. Like no, that. we've we've done it. Yeah. We, I got special rigging for that. I got special hooks. I got special chains for that. Normally we run straps so that way we don't gouge the, the aluminum, but we attach from the frame and I use spreader bars so that way I don't crush the, the aluminum tanks. What happened to the guy that was here that was um, sending a fuel truck here to offload it? Oh, it's good. It's on the way. Yeah, but he said that the truck was over here and it's going to be an hour and it's freaking, it's, he said 1230, it's freaking almost an hour late. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's where we were making decisions to say, <clears throat> we were giving you guys, or, or was it fuel from Supreme? Okay, we were giving you guys the benefit of the doubt to get you, recover your fuel. Or else we would have said, you know what? Bring that vacuum truck driver back here in, in a half an hour or something and offload that thing. Because then we don't care. We only care about safety or traffic. We're starting to let traffic through, but now we're talking about moving a freaking rig. And I, me. No, no, they're not moving it. We're not moving it until we get it. Oh. That's yeah. Fine. yeah, I'm fine with that, yeah. If that's what you guys just want to do, that's fine, I'm fine, I'll wait. No, yeah, no. that's that's hey. what we always do, right? Hey, what's going on? Is something changed or what? No, what it's the same thing. Out, yeah, it's a, it's so offloaded. Oh, uh, no. Once you get here, then you can, you can take the truck and then we can hook up to the trailer and take the truck. Yeah, take it off the valves, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the thing was, um, that other guy said, you know, by 12, 12 30, now we're already an hour into it. We got freaking miles and there's fuel on the ground that then now we gotta be cleaned up. And now we're letting traffic through. Yeah. And now we're gonna possibly look at possible traffic access because now they're driving over diesel. That's, that, that, it, it's freaking a whole problem compared to keeping it closed, hooking it up, offloading it, pulling it off. So now we're an hour late and this guy's still at the 10 freeway. He's stuck because of traffic right here, right? 
Yeah, no, he's gonna take the back way around. To, to over the, yeah. Well, where's he at right now? I'll check for you. Get, get, a, get a true ETA with this guy. Because, um, yeah, not, not to mess with Pepe, because I'll tell you what, dude, we've done a lot of good incidents with you guys, and I, I freaking 100% trust you guys. Thank you. It's just something we, we, we've that's never fine. done before. No worries, that's but, fine. Uh, um, your dad? Does your dad own the place? Or no, that's father? my boss, Josh. Yeah. Okay, so I yeah. know both those guys, and those guys are the. I work with yeah with Josh and him, okay. so it's, it's usually him with the other truck. Yeah. Yeah. So I always hear what you guys have to say because we did that one propane tanker, and that that was. Were you at that scene? Yeah. And I said, "Who's going to be there?" I said, "Peppy's." I said, "Yep, they can do it." Yeah. You guys got a seventy-five ton. Right? That's the one that I drive. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. That right That's there. a big boy. <laughs> yeah, so. But it was under the bridge, so we had to run a lot of three-part lines to be able to pick it up. Yeah, because you're low, right? Yeah, it's, it's a low clearance uh, bridge so, right there. So stuff like that, dude, you guys start, you start getting up, building a lot of trust with us. Mm -hmm. Huge amount. You know what I mean? so, Thank you. It's just that that right there, we always offload it, and if it's turned over, we for sure off sting it. Oh, yeah, yeah. drill it out. Yeah, I've seen that before. That one's upright, so it's it's not compromised. When it's something like this, and, and you pull up, if it's you guys, and you see us over there walk, I mean, as long as we're not in the hot zone, you know, like we're standing by behind a, like one of those Dodge trucks and we're all talking, yeah. go over there and introduce yourself. Okay. Because we're, we're waiting for guys like you. Yeah. So you, hey, I'm from Pepe's, so like, oh yeah. Because trust me, man, look, a lot of us that work with you, we, we're waiting for you. You can see you have ocean blue uh, cleaning up uh, the sand over there and you can see uh, caltrans already pretty much uh is that caltrans yeah the sweeper already sweeping that up so we should be clear to uh, drive over that uh over that area they also have to clean up the diesel that spilled into the to the drain so it's going to be a hefty bill yeah they all that's spilled into the to the drain Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Qué dice? ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué dice? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. These are all the, the 55 gallon drums. These are all the empty ones. They're ready to be filled with the, with the sand. All the absorbent here that uh, absorbs all the spilled diesel. So you can see whenever there's a hazmat spill, it's, it's a huge, uh, huge mess. You gotta have a lot of different agencies having to come out here and, uh, and clean up this mess. You're gonna have uh, the fire department, CHP, uh, a cleanup crew, hazmat crew. You're gonna have uh, LA County ha uh, hazmat. And then we also have the, the representatives of the company with their offload crew to offload the fuel. So 
So is it okay if I stage my truck right behind them as they're yeah. going over there? I think you'll be good. Okay. Yeah. Chief, you're good with that, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. What's up, man? Hey, hey, let us work really quick, all right? No, yeah, we're letting you work. Right, yeah, we're not going to bug you. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. So right now we just have the, the company's offload crew. They're basically draining the, the big tank up there, that one up there, and uh, essentially going to put it into that tank. Once I, uh, I lift this, my Lando will come in here Go right under it so that truck is clear so that way uh, he could hook it up with this pinnel hook and uh, haul it away or he might even just hook it up right there who knows we'll see right now to the frame. Oh, you know what? Maybe something exploded. And I'm just noticing the frame is uh, expanded. I wonder if that's from the heat or something blew up and it went out because the cat did say small explosions. So I wonder if that was it. Lift it up a little bit. They want me yeah, to lift it now? Because um, they took the the safety manager, which is uh, the one with the gloves. He told me not to. I, I offered before. Yeah, want, let's a, go talk to him. That's up to you guys. Or, yeah, he had told me no, but I'm I'm yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm sure he's fine now. Yeah, just go. <laughs> you guys are just letting the pump do its thing, right? So, so now he wants me to lift it or no? I don't know. You want me to lift it, or are you going to do the pump, do it, its thing? Yeah, so how, how, if you lift it, how would you do it? Just back up. I put chains around the frame hook chains, lift it up, and pretty much uh, move the fuel towards the back. Obviously, it wouldn't move around because you have the brakes that are locked. Yeah. So it's not going to do anything. The only right. thing I'm going to do is just change the angle. All right, perfect. Now you got wheel chocks for your truck? Wheel chocks? Yeah. I have wheel brakes. I have, I have chocks. All right, I don't need chocks on my truck. I have outriggers. Right, everything unlocked. Yeah, it's not gonna slide. No, my truck's it's 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 on dead on. So it's, right. for your truck, it's not gonna move either because you have brakes. All right, perfect. Let's, cool. Let's do it. Do you want me to lift it? Yeah, okay. Let me get that. Cool. So they want me to. Uh, like I had suggested before, uh, change the angle on the on the truck. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, I'll hold. What's the weight rating on this? Uh, fully retracted from the rear at 30 degrees, 75 tons. Yeah, it's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. Only? <laughs> huh? Only 75 tons? Only, right? 150,000? <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, there's a, it goes through the bottom. Yeah, go through there. No, on through this side. Yep. And then it wraps around to the bottom and it hooks oh, onto the, the, the bottom flange. Here. I'll get it. Thank you, man. Oh, it hooks on the frame. Yeah, so see how the bottom flange, uh -huh. it wraps around and it hooks. It hooks right on the frame. Yes, sir. Sweet. That's smart. <laughs> What's the lifting weight on it? Uh, the chain is half inch, so it's uh, 15,000 pounds in a single line. Nice. So it'll be more than enough. We have two legs, so... Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. Let me know when. Up. So the whole purpose of this is, uh, like I was mentioning before, is the grade goes down and not only with the blown wheels, uh, it wasn't allowing the, the gravity for the for the fuel to be offloaded onto the opposite one. Obviously, there's a pump on this truck, but uh, if there's no fuel to pump, then uh, it can't do its job. So by me lifting it, the fuel will go towards the rear where that hose is at and uh, allow it to be uh, pumped pumped through. Thank you. Now we just have the ocean blue guys here, uh, pretty much getting a headway on the on the cleanup under the under the truck, especially by the engine bay. Uh, looks like that's where the the fire started, and it pretty much consumed the cab. So there's going to be a lot of debris, a lot of uh, melted aluminum that sticks to the concrete. So, uh, they have a, looks like a crowbar or a, a big uh, wrecker bar to uh, pretty much uh, lift it and uh, place it into those 55 uh, gallon drums. It looks like the, they're pretty much done, so it's going to be a uh, show time for flipper and our land all. So the game plan here is uh, since they have to hook up to the rear of the trailer, 
uh, what I'm going to do is pretty much park uh, perpendicular to the to the front unit, lift it and swing it around, and have my have Castro pretty much park on this side on on, on flipper. As I swing it around, I'll place it on his bed. That way, uh, the cleanup crew from Ocean Blue could uh, finish cleaning off the the debris there, and then have this truck pretty much go on uh, in front and hook up to the pinnel hook to that uh, trailer that's still loaded with uh, with fuel. Are you guys are done pretty much? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got the trailer disconnected too. Oh, the trailer disconnected? Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it and swing it around this way. So that way these guys can finish off cleaning up and then that way you can back up your rig that way without puncturing your tires. Are you, you said you gonna swing it around? Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up, swing it around, that way it's gonna, and I'm gonna place it on my land all. Okay. No worries, all right, man. Good work, man. Thank you, man. No worries. I'm gonna de-rig and then uh, if you want, you can move your rig so that way I could be right there. I need to be perpendicular to it. Thanks, man. Is it okay if I lower it? Do whatever you got. You're the boss. Hey, 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 hey. Right. <laughs> hey guys, just move our drums out of the way. Shiny where on top? Yeah, right there. No, right there. Oh, right here. Yeah, it's a piece of a uh, stainless, stainless steel. steel. Yeah. Hey man, I need my land all to get through. So that way if you want, you could take this truck and that truck and just move forward or, or back up. Cause I need my land all to be forward. Oh, okay. By the time where I lift it, he could just back up under it. So want me to get that one completely out of the way for you? Yeah, if you can. Yes, yeah, sir. Let me just pick up a tool real quick and I'll just- No worries. Hey, can I have to move this back to you? Um, oh no, I can't cause it's gonna be a hard- gonna Yeah, he's gonna have to come around. Yeah. Yeah, cause this land all's pretty big. Um, so Actually, what you could do is that you could be on, on that side of the truck. I could lift it. By the time I swing, they'll clean up, and you could just pull forward on that side. Right, I'll let them go. Okay, no worries.
I'm gonna uh, shoot up my drone for uh, insurance purposes, okay? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, my drone. All right. I'm gonna shoot it back there, it'll be out of the way. All right, and then what is your truck for? Where are they at, back there? Back there. I'm gonna lift it, just get it separated from there, let it stabilize. I'm gonna call my guy and have him pull forward. At that moment, I'll go ahead and swing around and then he'll go right under it and load it onto his bed. Perfect. Okay. So what I do is I pretty much just pick it up little by little. Okay, it's separated, okay. That's what I wanted to do is basically separate it from the pin hook. He's going to pass right through there, sir. Yeah, On that side, yeah. Go ahead, pull all the way forward as close as possible to my outriggers. Okay. Huh? It's offloaded. Yeah.
Yeah, a little bit, mijo. Yeah. Let me know. I'll let you know. Right there. Too much, no? More this way. Right there. That way a little bit. More? Oh, no, me, yeah, but I'm saying I want to line up the back first. Yeah. Right there, no? Yeah. Is it going to roll? No. That's fuel? It's water. That's water? It's water! It's water. What happened? I said we were paranoid because I just let the engine company go. Oh no, that's oh. water. Yeah, I smelled it. Are we good, mijo? Are we good on both sides? Yeah. Okay, cool. It looks good. I'll start stopping it. Oh. Oh, oh. All right. I oh. think we'll be fine, bro. What do you think? Take the streets or what? Yeah. Unless you want to let out the air from the tires. So drop like this much. You have a measuring tape in the truck? No. No. no.
clear. Okay. All right, brother. Thank hey, you. Excellent Alex. job, like everyone. I appreciate time, it, man. man. So, um, you got a card or something? Yeah, I do. All right. Yes, I do. And what I'll do is I'll tell your boss. I'll tell your boss what you did. You did a good job. You did. Thank you. Couple, just in case you need them. All right, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.
guy is pretty much ready to go. Good job, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. guy's hauling away the trailer that's fully loaded went to the shop and now it's just time for cleanup We're gonna go off low right now, right, mijo? Huh? We're gonna off low, no? Yeah. I can say at uh, Alabina, I think. Yeah? Ocean Blue can finish off the last, uh, the last of the, of the debris. Does it look like it's taller than your truck or no? No, it actually looks like the same height as the stacks. Oh, it's taller than mine. For sure taller than mine. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's as tall as your stacks. It looks a little tall. Yeah. Cause even I mean the front tires have no air anyway, so that's not that's not even the problem. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ready to go or no? Cause I could, what I could do, I could take off. Are there any low bridges on the 101? Yeah, there's no bridges on the 101. Unless I get off right here on Ventura, I mean I get off right here on Sepulveda or Ventura or whatever. And Just take that. Shoot Ventura down until I find another, you know? Yeah. I just don't want to keep you too long because... No, just take off. I mean? Just take off. I'll yeah. get the rest of the info. You know where it's going, no? There already gave you yeah, the address. Yeah, give me the address. Okay. So I'm going to try to cruise it over there on the street. Yeah, just go slow. I'll see you there. Okay. All right, let me Thank you, man. Thank you. Well, Castro's uh, loaded up. I'm gonna go take the streets. It's just a little tall. Oh, everything's secured down. This guy's ready to go. Ocean Blue is just uh, finishing up the last touches, picking up the last debris there. And it looks like they're gonna open up uh, here shortly. Good job, brother. Thank you, man. Uh, the, your little time that I got to dig it down. Right. <laughs> Where, uh, where'd the RP go? Uh, I think he's over here. Yeah, he's over there. Oh, he just walked on this side. 
All right, hiding from you? <laughs> yeah, he's right there, right? Go! Shh. Go! What happened? Oh, not you. <laughs> Him. Oh. No, the other rep. The rep for the company. I don't think he saw you guys. Yeah, he did. No, he went like that. Hold on. I flashed him with the lights. Oh, you think the whole thing? Yeah? No, I think it'll be fine. Well, just take it slow, I guess. All nighter, I guess. Very dope. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a little bit to show my son. Oh, nice. Uh, he loves good shows. Oh, yeah? Shows. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to put it on that side, then you started rotating. No, no, I rotated. Traffic, huh? No, that way, so that way they can start cleaning up and rotate oh. it. That way you guys can start hooking up right away. That way we don't, we actually, this yeah. side's clear, so we're just going to do it. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that much water, but. Yeah, yeah. at first I thought it was like uh, residue or something like that. Oh, no. You, you, but you guys closed all the valves anyway. Yeah, I closed all the valves. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. 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 Hey, can y'all give us a little space, man? Back up, back up. No, I just wanted to know the... He's, he's getting a little sketchy here. You know, I'm going to be a fast We're taking it to Alameda? Yeah, 10. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the yard in Alameda. You know, That's you know, a rider, right? no? It's closed, yeah, no? It's, it's, it no? used to be a rider. Oh, so it's your yard now? Yeah, yeah. Will there somebody there to meet us? Yeah. Oh, will that be you that be opening it? Yeah, that would be. Okay. Be the in that truck right there. Okay. So it'd be him? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that? Uh, want me to follow you? Actually, can you follow him? Yeah, I'll follow him. Yeah. I'll follow you. I'll so way, I don't, it's like, I don't, I, I don't want to go any under a bridge. We're going to go under a bridge over by Venice in the one town, but I think that one's high enough. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll stay behind you so when we get there, I can, uh, I can open the gate and everything. Yeah, so we can set up a space where we can put it. Uh, let me keep, let me text you my number. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the help. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Gracias. Listo, pues. Gracias. Igualmente. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah, it. I guess start, let's start rolling, fool. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. We're going to go pick up those booms. Yeah. Uh, no, is it going to be the truck with the uh, toilet on it? It's going to go around and meet me at the like Thanks, man. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, man. Really nice meeting you. Good work you. today, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Very good. You did a hell of a job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Ed. No hey, injury. good seeing you. Hey, hey, don't ruin this truck until we're done signing. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you, man. We'll, we'll, we'll meet you over there. Yeah, I'll start. I'll start heading over there. Well, it's pretty much all cleaned up. Caltrans is going to open up soon. CHP is going to move out of the way. Cash is loaded up, <laughs> and it's going to be offloaded in uh, Alameda, right there by our shop. All right, guys. Thank you. Peace out.